Hello everyone, I'm David Bainer from Roland Canada and I'm here at Long McQuaid to show you the latest keyboard release from Roland, the incredible Juno D. Now if you're an amateur or a professional keyboard player, if you play in gigs, if you're playing in bands, if you're a songwriter or a music teacher and you're looking for a great sounding, affordable, portable and easy to use keyboard, nothing out there beats the Juno D, let me show you why. So although the new Juno D inherited some of the key elements of its predecessor, the Juno DS, it has some significant upgrades. It's easier to use, it has upgraded sounds, upgraded connectivity, it has a beautiful color LCD screen, it has upgraded key action, the, uh, the 61 and the 76 key versions have the Bigger Brothers Phantom O uh, keys, and the 88 version has the standard Roland PHA4 uh, weighted and graded hammer action. It also has an optional USB-C power, which means you can power these keyboards on the go with just a USB-C battery pack or even your laptop, which is amazing. I haven't seen that before. If you're playing gigs and performing, the Juno D is the perfect grab-and-go keyboard. It's lightweight. It's packed with easy to find sounds from any genre. There's 3,800 of them built in and you can download even more from Roland Cloud. It's powered by the Zencore engine, which is so powerful you can layer and stack and split up to seven sounds at the same time, plus play a drum track on top. So you can play massive sounds with no notes dropping off. You can then customize your sounds and save them into user banks for a quick scrolling through as you play a show. It has knob controls right on the panel for quick sound tweaking and for mixing. You can play backing tracks from a USB key, you can play with the uh, built-in rhythms, and you can even import your own samples, which you can have quick access through the pads here, or even split and play them across the keyboard. It has everything you need for live performance. If you're a songwriter, the Juno D has a simple 8-track sequencer which you can use as a sketchpad for musical ideas. It has real-time and step-time recording if you're more familiar with the TR-808 style uh, drum programming. If you're streaming your performances online or your teacher wants to stream lessons, the Juno D connects directly into any device and gives you great audio stereo in and out. You can also plug in a microphone through the XLR combo jack and the microphone has built-in effects, so great sound right out of the box and even has a dedicated mic control fader right here for a quick mixing. If you want to use the Juno D for your home studio, it's a great MIDI controller. It has many options for 8-part control with your DAW. It has a 5-pin MIDI in and out. It's USB class compliant, so just plug and play. You can easily integrate it with a home studio or a live performance rig. And it gives you access to that massive sound library to use in your productions. Now let's listen to some of the sounds of the Juno D and let me show you how easy it is to get set up for your show. So first of all, you can browse through the sounds with these uh, category buttons which are nicely lit uh, so you can see them even in uh, darker environments. Let's hear the piano. Great piano. Grady P, organ. You can turn the Leslie on with just a touch of the joystick and then turn it off again with the same way. Some keys. Now, if you wanted to get more sounds from the same category, you press the enter and then you can scroll up and down uh, with the arrow keys. And each sound has a little sequence to kind of demonstrate uh, its potential. Let's hear this one, I like this one. Sounds great. Let's hear the guitar. Beautiful. Let's hear the bass. Awesome. Strings. I like this one. Awesome. Let's hear the brass. I had to play that. Let's hear some wind. I like this one. It gives you a split of harp and flute. Choir. 
choir. Beautiful. It has a cool feature called the scene remain, where when I switch sounds, it doesn't cut off the sound before. So it gives you a really nice and smooth flow to your performance. I'll give you an example here. I'm gonna hold this pad and I'm gonna hold it with my sustain pedal and switch to a different synth sounds. And you hear the sound doesn't get cut off. It even has a vocoder. Awesome. Uh, and then this is my bank for user sounds, uh, which I'm going to save for my show. Um, if I wanted to split and layer sounds, it's very easy to do with the split and layer button right over here. So um, let's get out here and then I can add my split. Dual will stack sounds. Then I can quickly tweak it with the knobs here, with the sound modify knobs. And if I wanted to layer more sounds, I can do it with a little magic pad right here called the mute. When I press on that, each one of these pads becomes um, an on and off uh, a trigger for another sound that I want to bring in and out. So we're going to start with the piano here. And then I want to bring in some kind of a pad. I can tweak it on the fly with my sound modify knobs here. I can mix it on the fly with the, with the sliders here. Let's bring in another sound. Let's bring in a bass. Split, you can add in some choir, add in an organ, another organ, just massive sound. And the eighth pad is reserved for drums, so I can play that along with uh, one of the built-in built uh, drum tracks right over here. Uh, let's try that. Fantastic. Now the large LCD screen will also show me uh, which sounds are in this patch and it also shows me the levels of each one of them which I can quickly tweak and adjust and then once that sound is ready I want to save it in my user bank using the right scene right save 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 done I'm ready for the show rinse and repeat for the rest of the sounds and that's all you need. So as you can see, the Juno D is a powerhouse of a keyboard, but it's also easy to use, it's affordable, and it has great sounds. Make sure to check one out at a store near you. Thank you for being here and enjoy the music.